Welcome back, non-consensual towing. That's what we do. Anyway, we're rolling uh, rolling to a gas station over here. Uh, somebody's blocking a pump. Somebody left your car broke down at a gas pump. The guy that runs the gas station is actually, actually pretty lenient. Uh, being the car's been here. It's been here for a day or two. I think he said it's been blocking the pump for two days. Something like that. Anyways, uh, it's not the first time I've, I've hauled cars away from pumps. In fact, the last one I did, the person blocked the pump for two hours and got towed. Uh, these gas stations, man, they uh, they don't play around about, about their gas pumps. Hold on, man. You got a car blocking the pump? Yeah. That's, how long has it been there? I don't know, remember, but it's been two days or three days, I think. Two or three days? Yeah. Hey, thank you. We'll get it right now. Thank you, thank you sir. That's kind of strange. It's a newer, it's a newer car. I don't understand why somebody would leave the car there. Unless they parked it and ran or something, something sketchy. That's usually the case. Something like this. Normal people don't leave their cars parked in front of a pump for two or three days. This little area is it's, it's uh it's really not that bad. It's on the north end of north end of Atlanta it's in Gwinnett. Uh, but there's been some several shootings, man, in this little, little area. These toes, it, uh, very similar to doing wreck calls, man. They show up, you show up at a wreck call, there'll be there'll be two two cars piled up in the middle of the road, and there won't anybody, be anybody even there. Some of the weirdest things happen uh, when you're out, when you're towing police calls or impounds. Any kind of tow, some of the weirdest things happen, man. Cars wind up in the weirdest places at the weirdest times. Nobody's around. They were drunk. Whatever happened, man, they parked in a drive-thru at Wendy's. This stuff happens, man. Uh, I've pulled cars, I said, I've pulled cars out of drive-thrus uh, that got left overnight. I pulled up and towed cars that were still running. They've been running for two days. Uh, some of the weirdest stuff's happened on all these impounds over the years. Uh, you just can't never tell, man. You really can't. Uh, anyway, we're going to head to the yard. Y'all stay tuned. I just got back to the yard with this car. And I had to take, because I, I had to lock it out and take the brake off. But there's a uh, Bible sitting. There's a Bible in here. And it's a key. This thing's got a key in it. Car's running right now. There's a some kind of bag right there. Long story short, that makes it even more strange that the key's inside the car. And uh I don't believe that there's not a purse in there, but there that bag uh is a little carry bag that goes with the person wherever they go. I'm pretty certain of that. Uh, I'm also pretty certain it's a, it's a, it's a female. I, I don't know if it's a young female or older female. I don't know that for sure. Uh, but it's very strange. 
that's a very very strange ordeal so i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to my lot manager over here he's the underboss i'm gonna talk to brian to find out let let him uh post uh keep me posted on it but you don't leave your key you don't leave the keys in the car it's not normal that somebody could have got somebody could have got arrested uh we're gonna we're gonna try to find out what the story on that one is that's a weird one anyway we got more coming y'all stay tuned We got a bike we're loading, man. I've already pulled it out and had the manager over there, so I didn't, uh, I can't video the managers, but we're gonna load it up. Yeah, I, I can get by that. Anyway, we got the bike loaded. I'm gonna go over here and load this car next. Bikes are never that easy to load. Uh, this Pontiac, I'm gonna I'm I'm wheel lift this Pontiac and, uh, and ride up out of here. Uh, but the manager, see, uh, the girl that's running the impound right here, I'm pretty sure she's a manager or assistant. Uh, but she's been watching my videos. She's really, really nice. And that, that particular, this particular bike, she told me this guy with the bike has been parking here repetitively, and uh, and he thinks he can park there. He can't. He can't park there. He's been worn numerous times, and he won't. Uh, he won't comply. Anyway, we got the bike. We got the car she wanted, uh, and that's the main thing. We take care of these properties, man. They want cars removed. That's what we do. That's our job to remove them. Uh, people that come on the, come on the channel, well, really on Facebook, they watch this stuff on Facebook and they uh they get all bent out of shape about it. We shouldn't be towing those cars. And all this crap, man. Uh, they, these properties cost. They they need the cars removed, so they call us. Uh, the cars are, are they create a problem for the property. They have to get removed, and it is what it is, man. This is what what happens. This is real life towing, real scenarios, and real property management. You've seen it done. This is what they do. Anyway, y'all stay tuned. We got more coming, man. Peace. We're rolling in on a paving job. They got some trailers. They got some trailers they want pulled out of here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna yank some trailers. Hey, I'm getting the trailers, right? Okay, both these two? That one back there is this black one that's been sitting here. Okay, all right, I'll get them loaded. Damn, look at this shit, man. Maybe the other thing will stay on here. Stuff will fall off or not. Well, that kept asking what took so long for them to start. I'm still using the blocks though, just to just keep from rolling. Okay. Hey, hey, I'll leave them sitting right here. I need them because it's trying to roll. Okay. I'm just shifting them because what it's trying to do is trying to roll. I'll leave them right here. Okay. Here you go. Call them. Yes. On the right time is open over there. Uh, open till five, uh, five or six. Yes. Uh, Just call the number and find out. You know what? How, how much is for? Is it today? Yes, right yeah. now. One seventy-five or one ninety-five. One ninety-five dollars. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, and that's uh, everybody's it's a towing a lot. Yeah, because she got to pay. They got the paving crew. She's doing the paving here. property out for the manager so that's all we that's all we can do make her happy and, uh, and we'll keep towing on offer property